All right, guys, I know it's late. It's 9.35 East Coast time, and uh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get to a video today, but I said, you know what? I got a good streak going. I think I've been doing uh, five days so far, and I want to get every day in. So I was thinking about what could I talk about today, and um, one of the things I was thinking about is, uh, you know, sort of regular people making board games, you know, not um, professional board game designers or people who work with the big companies. and Because those are the kind of people I like. You know, the, the big people are great too, the full-time people. But I like uh, going to a Kickstarter and when it's just a regular guy, um, you know, like uh, James Staley from Tin Robot Games. You know, like people who have their dream, they just like love games, they want to get it out. So a while back... I uh, posted a question to the club here, the Board Game Club. And if you're watching this on YouTube or some random place, come to Facebook, join the Board Game Club group. You'll, you'll be in on all the action. And um, I posted this a while back, not not planning on making my own game. I just, you know, was just throwing out sort of questions to generate some conversation. And uh, the the responses were so, so surprising that I actually jotted them down. I thought it was really interesting. Hold on, I think someone just popped in here. What's up, Caesar? How's it going? Um, so what I wanted to do is let me go over. I actually, being the big fat nerd that I am, I made a a pie chart with the results. So uh, well, before I show them to you, I'll tell you what the what the um, sort of options were, and you can guess what you think the breakdown was. So uh, the question was, would you like to make a board game? And there were four answers someone could pick. No. Um, they are working on one right now, so currently actively working on one. Um, the next step down was they have an idea, so they're not working on it, but they at least have an idea. And then the next step down after that was no, they don't. They're not working on one. They don't have an idea, but they would love to do it someday. So I thought maybe people who wouldn't want to make a board game, I thought that would be at least half, maybe seventy-five percent. You know, because, I mean, it's, everybody doesn't make a board game. Most people are just kind of like, you know, a lot. Of, I thought most people just wanted to play games. But let me show you the results, the surprising results. Ugh, that jump. If anybody knows how to fix this jump in OBS, I will give you like $5,000. Please message me if you know why it jumps around like this. But anyway, on to, I'm not going to let it detract from these results. Uh, this was something like 30, 40 people responded. And less than 4% said no, they don't want to make a board game. Less than 4%. So out of, uh, you know, out of 100 people, only four of them, you know, according to these statistics, would not be interested in making a board game. 96% would. And now I know this isn't everybody in the world, every board gamer uh, feels this way, but at least the people in this group that maybe, I don't know if it's a special group or what, maybe it's just people that are online on Facebook uh, you know, they, they're very interested. Almost 40% are working on one. 40%. So four out of 10. That's crazy. I had no idea that that many people were actively making their own game, which is awesome. That's really cool. Uh, another 21% have an idea. So they have already thought about it. It's not just a pipe dream. It's not just something like, la, la, la. Oh, it'd be cool to make one someday. It's I have an idea. This is what I want to do. Just haven't gotten around to writing the rules or making prototypes or that kind of thing. So, and then the last uh, 36% uh, don't have an idea, aren't working on one, but would love to. They would be really interested. Uh, and then there are all sorts of reasons why they weren't. I, I Maybe I'll do another video on that. Uh, for most people, it was time. A lot of people, they have one skill but not another. Like uh, I know some people said that they are good at design and art, but they're not good at mechanics and vice versa. So we'll talk about that in some other video. Uh, but let's ignore the uh, the orange, or is that yellow? Whatever that is, orange and green for now. And look at people that are working on one or have an idea. And that is 60%. 60% of people in the group, or at least 60% of people that responded, either are working on a game or have an idea. And that's just ridiculous. That is so good. And and that, that's why I'm making these videos. You know, I could just work on this game with Ben, do it quietly. Because, you know, I, I don't have something to something huge to report every day. Sometimes it's just little things like this. But 
if 60% of the people are at some stage of releasing a board game, I think that, you know, I think these videos can help or I think really a lot of it comes down to uh, motivation. So that's what a lot of these videos are about. That's what the community, the club and everything else is about. Just, um, you know, supporting each other and pushing each other uh, because I always do best when there's some, there's me and someone else pushing each other. Cause I could, I could push, I could certainly push someone else. Uh, it's great if someone pushes on me too. So, uh, that's what I would like to get from the club. I would like people to keep me on task, to check in, uh, you know, check in with me, uh, make sure I'm following up on promises. If I say I'm going to have this released by this day, or I'm going to get this play tested by this date. I want people to be on my ass about it. And, you know, I'm going to do the same for you. If you want to post in the group about something you're working on, uh, you know, if you need help, uh, send me a message, post, let's let's all help each other here. But I just thought you guys would think that was cool. Some, uh, some really good stats, uh, really interesting stuff and exciting, to be honest. Uh, who do we got here? We got Mike and Donna came in. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Mike? Uh, once again, I am sorry about this voice situation. I keep saying I'm on the tail end of this cold, but this tail end, it's a very long tail. It's a long tail cold. Uh, so yeah, so that's what's happening there. Uh, so let me just finish up with the housekeeping. I did uh, a link in the comment link in the description so you could sign up to the list so we could send information when it becomes available, when we're ready to kickstart our game. Uh, also, if you want to play test, just sign up to there and let me know. Uh, that's about it. I've, I already covered the YouTube thing. I'm putting most of these on YouTube just kind of slowly. Um, anything else I'm trying to think? Usually I have some other thing I'm asking you to, to do for me. Let's see. Christopher's got a comment here. And JC Lenny just joined in. What's up? I'm working on publishing one of my own right now. Some friends and I tried to kickstart one, but fa that failed, but might still be on the site called Throne Wars by Ichthys Games. Ichthys Games. Probably going to give it another go sometime. We didn't advertise well. Well, Christopher, that is an awesome comment. And... You know what? It's not. It's probably not easy to like come out here and be like, "Yeah, I kickstarted a game." You probably put a shitload of time, probably put in money, uh, a lot of energy into it, and it failed, and that probably sucked really badly. But it's cool that you're out here talking about it because it'd be so easy to just fail, right? Not kickstart your game and be like, "Oh, that sucks." Like Kickstarter's rigged, uh, or I suck at board game design. I'm just. I'm never gonna do it again. But you've got good energy, you're talking about you're going to do it again, and you, you've pinpointed uh, some things that you did wrong, you talked about advertising, and I think advertising is so important, and that's one of the things I really, really want to do a lot more research, and I want to talk to you, and um, you know, like James at Tin Robot, and other people in other groups, and I want to really figure out the advertising, because I think that's the most important thing, building community, like sort of what we're doing right now, and, um, and advertising, obviously, getting the word out, uh, huge right? Because you can have the best game in the world, but if nobody knows about it, you know, nobody's going to know about it. But then you can have Exploding Kittens, which I actually haven't played yet, but by all accounts, it's a pretty good game, but you know, it's not groundbreaking, but awesome advertising. Everybody owns it. Uh, so, you know, advertising, huge. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's chat, Christopher. I'd like to know more about why your game failed. You, you learn a lot more from failure. I know this is very cliche, but if you go and you look at uh, the Kickstarters that do really well, which I've done lately, I've been doing a lot of research, uh, a lot of them already have a pre-built community. Like uh, I just talked about Exploding Kittens and that had the Oatmeal, the whole Oatmeal fan base, that website, webcomic, I believe. Um, you know, when you have that as your base, you're probably going to do well. Uh, a lot of uh, successful people had previous projects that did well or uh, just some springboard. Um, so that's not, to me, that's not as useful to learn from. But looking at some games that almost funded or just bombed, uh, talking to those people, finding out what they did poorly, that's really useful because those are things that you could avoid pretty easily probably. We released our first game a week ago. Is doing good. Daniel, awesome. Why don't you put a link? Put a link in uh, the comments here. Let's check it out. 
Mike says, if anyone is looking to make something, just do it. My company created and got into Target in just six months. Kick butt and don't take no for an answer. That's awesome, Mike. Guys, I gotta, I gotta really talk to you. We gotta, we gotta talk about what you guys are doing and uh, how you guys are kicking so much ass here. Getting your game into Target in six months. I thought I was being aggressive. I wanted to do uh, a Kickstarter in three months, but Target in six. That's that's nuts. So listen, all you people that are commenting, you guys, this is why this community is awesome. I love it. You guys are here. You're just freely giving information. Uh, let's let's do that. Let's let's talk more. Figure out what you guys are doing right. And like I said, just look at out of the, you know, however many people are watching this right now. We got, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> out of six different commenters, I think three of them have either released their own game or did a Kickstarter. Uh, and that's kind of like right in line with those stats I was showing you in the beginning. You know, something like over 50% of people are working on a game. So, uh, you know, this is a really special group here. A lot of really good, smart people. So talk to them, ask questions. I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep making these videos. Ben says I can't do it or I shouldn't do it. I'm doing it anyway, making the videos. And uh, let's see if we got anything else here before I sign off. Daniel said, give me a second. Mike's got a link here. So yeah, check these comments because it looks like there's some good stuff going on. I'll send you guys some messages and uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely chat. And uh, so thanks for watching and you guys know the drill. Links, subscribe, whatever. Uh, join us in the board game club if you're watching this elsewhere. And uh, let's make some game, guys. Let's make some games. All right, see you soon.